Hey everyone, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Allison Gargaro here in Houston, and I'm going to talk all things total solar eclipse. Yes, we're still a few weeks away, but people have been making plans to see this phenomena for, I mean, months, if not years. So many people are excited, and guess what? totality is going to be seen very close to us here in Houston, actually just a bit out to the west. So just want to let you know when the day comes, that is going to be Monday, April 8th. Download the Fox local app on your smart TV and you can watch coverage live. We're going to have reporters out and Fox weather is going to have reporters and meteorologists across the entire country to see this. So you are going to get an inside look from the comfort of your home if you aren't actually going to be over that path. But let's talk about what is an eclipse a total solar eclipse. So the moon is actually going to be directly between Earth and the sun. Now, as you can see, the moon is much smaller than the sun, but why will we be seeing total darkness? Well, think of when you were a little kid and you would put your thumb in front of your face and you try to cover something and you couldn't see it. Well, that's kind of the same idea that the moon is actually going to be closer to Earth, so it will be blocking the entirety of the sun. So it's going to be completely dark, not over the entire Earth. It's just going to be a certain path. And you can see with our graphic here that the sun moves between or the moon rather moves between the Earth and the sun. And here you go. This is going to be the shadow of the moon making its way from Mexico to Canada. And like I mentioned, Texas is going to be a big portion where it moves over. So let's talk about the actual path. I mentioned Mexico and all the way up to Canada. I mean, you have family or friends in Vermont and Maine, you know they're going to be getting in their car and going over here. But it elapses across many, many states. So I'm going to zoom you in so we can actually go on the path with it. Pretend like it is April 8th. Here we go. It makes its way out of Mexico into Texas. And you can see between San Antonio, Austin in the hill country out toward Fredericksburg. We're going to be seeing the moon move over. Then it's up toward Dallas into Tyler. If you have family or friends here, they will also be able to see that. Then we're moving up toward Little Rock, Arkansas. You can see Fayetteville is just on the edge here, so not total darkness, but very close to it. Then we're moving up toward Indianapolis. Now, it is interesting that is briefly touching the state of Michigan, really not. Um, so if you have family or friends there, they might need to travel off to the south for that. And then here we go, making its way up toward Buffalo and then into the northeast. And then it's going to be making its way out toward Canada. Now you saw just how long that path is. I believe it's about 15 states that are going to be experiencing at least a portion of it. It's actually not going to be all that long time wise. So we're actually going to break down the time for you. Let me step on this other side. So here is the path that we just watched in motion. You can see it's making its way into Texas. So near us, uh, excuse me, along the border around 130 and then slowly but surely I will call it 135 to 140 and then making its way up toward Dallas by 145 in the afternoon. So you can see just how quickly that is going to be moving. Then up into Little Rock, Arkansas by just before two. Again, that is going to be central time. And then you can see by the time it makes its way into the Eastern Standard Time at anywhere from 3.30 um, and on. So the timing is going to be really interesting because folks that are driving all the way out to spots along this path to see it, it's going to be for a few minutes, but hey, that's awesome. And I was looking up some fun facts about this solar eclipse. You're probably wondering, well, who gets to see it the longest? A small town in Mexico in the state of Durango. So something cool that you can go tell your family and friends, especially if they're planning on it. Now, I mentioned some towns and cities that were not over that direct path of totality, but Spots that are really close are going to be shaded in this dark, dark orange color, and then you can see it extends out. Now, another interesting fact is that Alaska is not going to see it at all. It expands out, expands out, but only goes so far, and Alaska will not be included in this, but a lot of other states are, so maybe you're not right on the direct line, 
like us here in Houston. No, we're not necessarily right there, but we're in that 90% range. So meaning if you were to try to step outside to see it, you'd get a little bit, but again, not complete totality. But let's talk about the difference between what we are going to see with the total eclipse this year versus what we saw with the annular. So the difference is that what we saw last time, there was a ring of fire, as they call it, meaning that it was not 100% totality. The moon was covering most of the sun, just not all of it. But if I step out of the way here, what we're going to be seeing in a few weeks is total, meaning the moon will be covering the entire sun. And it's really awesome. You know, been talking with some coworkers, everyone's excited getting their glasses. But we were also saying that, you know, this is a time that some folks like to bury time capsules. You know, what would you put in your time capsule? Is that something you're gonna do? Did I just give you a new idea? And you're like, hey, I gotta think of that. Maybe you have little kids, they can draw something. You can go look back next time this happens overhead or whatever the deal is, but something to keep in mind. But now I wanna get into the safety because safety is important. You need to wear your eclipse glasses and make sure that they are the registered kind you know, be careful where you're ordering them from. Or if you have a handheld solar viewer, do not look directly at the sun. Not good. We've already heard interviews from eye doctors saying, this is not something you wanna do. And definitely don't look through a telescope or binoculars. If you watch us here on Fox Local, we will have the coverage and our cameras will be set up with a special lens that it's safe for them to get and they'll be safe for you to see so you don't have to worry. Sunglasses do not provide enough eye protection. So not recommended to see it with just sunglasses. Again, you wanna make sure that you have the correct Eclipse glasses. Probably no matter where you're watching this from, your local store will have it because these things are going like hotcakes. And that's why we wanted to bring you up to speed on what exactly you can expect because we're still a few weeks out. And I know as we get closer, the intensity is going to build. People are going to be really excited, looking forward to it. You know, you want to make sure that you aren't left without the glasses. And, you know, we're going to have a ton of content on our Fox local app again, free on your smart TV where you can actually, you know, get tips. Can your kids make glasses? Yeah, there's a lot of ideas for that. So throughout the upcoming weeks, we're gonna have all the details for you. But I wanna take you down to the actual day of the eclipse. So I'm actually going to be heading out toward Fredericksburg and into Hill Country with um, some University of Houston students. So get a, get a local you know, reaction. This is so cool for them. You know, They've probably been studying it and then now they get to see it in real life. And something else I'm really excited for while I'm out there is just to see how far people have traveled to see this. Because like I mentioned, Alaska not seen it at all. So if they want to, they're going to have to make those travel plans and that it'd be awesome if you know they chose to come to Texas to see that. So I'm gonna be really interested to get reaction from people, you know, see the light on kids' faces and adults that maybe have never seen something like this. So again, the eclipse from Mexico to Maine, we are going to have everything you need on the Fox local app. It is free to download on your smart TV. You just click on Fox 26 Houston as your home station and there you go. You can watch us whenever. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be out there. We also have Melissa Wilson going to be at a location and there's going to be a lot of meteorologists and reporters from Fox weather stationed across the path. So we just got Texas covered, but they're going to be all the way, like I mentioned, from not quite Mexico, but here in Texas all the way to Maine. And we'll be streaming that live coverage on air for a short amount of time, and then it's going to continue online. So easy to download, and we are so excited and hope that you will make us your home for everything. Total solar eclipse. We're going to have, like I mentioned, a lot more videos talking about it, how you can stay safe and you know, we'd love to hear your stories of if you have kids, like I mentioned, are their classes doing anything? That would be fun to see if, you know, they're going to be uh, at least watching a feed of some sort. So we're looking forward to that. So again, don't forget to download the Fox local app on your smart TV.